Woohoo, guys, boom, boom, boom. We did it. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos all about this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more about those subjects, make sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below. And if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, make sure to follow this page for daily videos. Also, I do videos on TikTok. Hit me up in there, Yellow fam. What up? Okay, guys, so, oh my. Okay, about two weeks ago, um, I released a video talking about Spectrum 10K. First time opening Twitter today, I'm checking out this Spectrum 10K thing, and uh, for good reason. Now, Spectrum 10K, if you don't already know, was a weird study that was created by Simon Baron Cohen in the um, the Autism Centre or, or the Autism Kind of Research Centre here in the UK, and they set out with um, some universities in America to collect data on autistic people to help kind of identify autism in more depth kind of i guess they were trying to identify an autism gene or something i don't know anyway the weird creepiness about it basically they said that they wanted to collect dna samples from people like this is weird enough but they also partnered with a university in los angeles who was part of a eugenics program and we all know about eugenics is basically like you know screening for um different kind of challenges that your unborn child may have and then giving you the option to terminate it which is all a big very ethical disaster. Anyway, that aside, all the autistic people took to the, the the internet and we made videos and posts and spoke about it and, and aired our voice about it and said that, look, these people are just not listening to the fact that they just went out on a whim and just said, oh, we're gonna collect all this data and we're not gonna consult with actual autistic people and all this kind of stuff. And it was really weird. Now, you know, and I get it, I know there's a lot of I know there's a lot of politics in, in, in any community, especially the autistic community, um, you know, and, and I get it. But at the end of the day, when you're going to do a study like that, you want to know that the community that you're doing the study about is happy with the way you're carrying the study out, right? Otherwise, what's the point of doing this study? I mean, who's going to use this research? So the National Autistic Society weren't happy with Spectrum 10K. They basically said they weren't affiliated with it and that they weren't consulted with it and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, actually, I was emailed about, about this from them. They wanted me to take part in it. They wanted me to uh, talk with Dr. Simon Cohen, uh, Baron Cohen. Um, they wanted me to do all kinds of um, stuff with them. And my friend Connor had an email about it. it says had an email about it. Andy, I mean, we all had an email about it. Um, and they kept following up on me, wanting me to do more. And I'm sure that Connor, Connor Ward, he did a video uh, where he he spoke about the fact that he f he had a, f a phone call with him and asked him all these kind of like ethical questions. And then they never got back to him. And that was like a year ago. So we knew this thing was on the cards. We just thought they'd forgotten about it. Anyway, up until that point, they were still going ahead with it. And we made all these videos. But within the last week, they said that they have paused the Spectrum 10K study because they want to um, consult with actually autistic people and have more of an in-depth view and do it properly rather than um, incorrectly. So they haven't really said that they're gonna stop eugenics or anything like that, but they paused it at the moment, which is good. But they are still taking sample donations on their website, which I find really, really weird. If you're gonna pause something, press pause. Don't just be like, yeah, we paused it, but also you can still send us your DNA because we're weird, creepy weirdos. But other than that, it's short wins like this that make us go, okay, maybe we do have a bit more power in this kind of like, you know, platform and level playing field. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who's kind of maybe participated in this and, and pushed this forward and really helped to, um, uh, you know, light this fire under their butts to make sure that they, they if they're going to do something about autism, they listen to the autistic community. I'm really happy that the National Autistic Society got on board with kind of um, being on our team with it rather than being on their side, which is cool. Uh, I know there's a lot of like kind of like medical bodies that would probably be on their side which is really weird but it really freaks me out that they want to collect dna uh so it's kind of like i don't know um you know i don't i don't know i don't know it, 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 there's a lot there's a lot going on um so let's see where this goes i'm gonna keep an eye on the spectrum 10k stuff and do more videos like this on it so basically stay tuned make sure you subscribed give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one so it was short but i wanted to get this video out all right guys peace